carries the ball for a nice game. And they convert the first down on that run. And the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time, he paid for being a step behind the receiver. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on the 45. He scrambled. Dropped him for the second straight time. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He wants it all going long. That close to being intercepted. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Oh, excellent punt. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Got an opening. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. That's a deep line. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for being five yards. That brings from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. Choose the mic. All day, baby, all day. Hot set. He throws it. Picked off. It's the cornerback. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Now he's got room to run. And he's tackled at the 42. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. going on with his defense. I mean, don't get me wrong, the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. Gains his way to the 20-yard line.
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They go with the run. Good outside run there. That's a four-yard gain there for the tailback. I think that's the third time he's carried the ball in this drive. And I can imagine they'll keep giving it to this guy until the defense can figure out how to stop it. Tackle at the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, second down. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here we go. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch seven. I'm coming for you, seven. I'm coming for you. He launches one for the end zone. It's intercepted. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Mike two, Mike two. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. We played one quarter. No score here. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Watch two. Watch two. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Blue 14. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Set. Set. Zips it to the back, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And this one is a beauty. And he's tackled at the 34. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's tackled at the 49. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Got a man, watch out here. And they push him out around the 43 yard line. yard line first and ten ball on the 32 yard line and he's taken down at the 21 yard line So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Defense has had two stops already down here. He's got an opening. 
Touchdown, Cards! And he adds the extra point. A nice six play, 66 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He laterals. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. First it's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Makes it to the 47. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. Set, ten. Gets to around the 42. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First and 10. Ball on the 42. Mike, two. I know he ain't got it. Set. Texas. Hut. Hut. And now he pitches it. He's into the open field. Makes it to the 31. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Two, watch two, watch two. Get that quarterback, D-line. Down, get that quarterback, Texas. D-line, get Hut. that quarterback. He makes his way to about the 18. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. Set, Hut. Oklahoma. Hut. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. Down he goes, and about the three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is, it's a fake. Fires quickly and they got it, touchdown. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. Georgia Tech ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. He might not be able to get the pass off. Fires out quick. It's picked off. And he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. 
He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 27-yard line, first down. Throws in a hurry. Nice play to set up first and goal. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. That brings him second and goal. Now he tries to buy some time, and they make the stop at the five. And he's level at the five yard line. They're going to go for the easy three here. Georgia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. So at the end of the half, the Yellow Jackets lead 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. We've got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Georgia Tech is up a field goal. out to around the 35. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. Five yards there for the quarterback. That makes it second and six. Makes it out to about the 43. Game 17 to play. First down. From the 43 yard line. First down. Watch two. Watch two. Watch the run. Watch the run. Set. Here he goes. Heading for the corner. That's a great tackle at the 29. Game 14 yards. First 
choose the mic. That's it. Hey. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down around the 25-yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Set down. Blue 42. Blue 42. And he's tackled at the 23. Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He's going to take off. Touchdown, Tech. He had the wherewithal to see the open space in front of him, and he just kept on zooming until he hit pay dirt. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice seven play, 73 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. So the score now, 17 7. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That brings up third and 14. Aaron and out long. No, incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That'll, That'll make, make it fourth and 14. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 40. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, call a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. No game. Too easy, too easy. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 40. run and he's brought down around five yards there on the option keep And they're coming after this punter. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Steps out of bounds around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Tackled at 
tackle at the 25 yard line. With the carry. That's, That's good, good for a gain of three yards. yards. That'll make it 35. Motion, motion, motion. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Oh, this is a great job by this young man to get the ball out of his hands. He was facing an all-out blitz and didn't panic at all. It's a nice pass and a new set of downs to show for it. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. We've played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. The Yellow Jackets with a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Taken down at the 46 yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. And here's another third down. And he is drilled at the 46. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. From their own 48-yard line, second down. play action now he's on the move and now he's gonna run they'll bring him down at the 43 gain of nine yards first down like two like two down sam 10 19 hut yes, hut nice run to the outside makes the tackle that's a gain of six on the way That'll make it second They're about four. four yards away here on second down. All day, dog. Down. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's a deal. And 
they get nice yardage on that run. He decided to keep it himself this time on the option, and he managed to get upfield and pick up the first down. From the 27-yard line, first down, just over two minutes in the game. Makes it out to about the 19. Louisville's going to take their first time out of the half. Mike two, Mike two. Set, Oklahoma. They'll knock him down for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. They'll line it up again on third down. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and the toughness to sit in that pocket. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. Georgia Tech gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten them and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. And he stops the clock with a spike. They're about four yards away here on third down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That makes it fourth and inches. Just under two minutes in the game. Passes. Tight end's got another one. And he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Tackle made at about the 35. I think you can start up the bus, Herbie. This one's over with that interception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Mike two. Watch two. Watch two. Stop. Three, eight. Three, eight. Three, eight. Three, eight. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Louisville will take their final timeout. Gets to about the 24-yard line. We're down to just a minute in this game.
Louisville staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.